Hey, UMass Boston, it's me, Michael Miller, again, with our next installment in our Learning Parliamentary Procedures series. In the last meeting we had, we talked about the whys and wherefores of using parliamentary procedure, and we also discussed making motions as the basic unit of decision making in our organizations. Today, we're gonna to talk about ways that you and your members can interact with motions that are on the floor in order to make them better, more effective, and more serving of the aims of your group. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about a motion to amend. Why? Why would you want to um, amend a motion? Well, it's used when you want to change the motion that's on the floor or um, add or omit words, right? You want to make the motion um, better in some way or another. Now, keep in mind, what this means is there's a main motion on the floor and you're making a motion on that motion. In other words, you're motioning or moving to amend it, right? So just like any other motion, um, it, it requires debate and a majority of the members have to vote um, yes to change it, right? So let's make this easier for you by putting it into kind of a real life situation. So we're at the meeting, right? And a motion has been made as such. I move to allocate $250 from our budget for DJ Jazzy Funkmaster to perform at our fall event. This motion was made by a member. It was seconded, and now it's under full debate and discussion on the floor of the meeting, right? Now, you're sitting there, and you're listening to this, and you're like, that is not enough money, right? You're thinking that it's never going to be enough with the sound equipment she needs to do her show and to um, make sure that we have enough money, we could change this motion to make it better, right? So what can you do? What can you do? Very simply, it's very simple. You can amend the motion. In other words, you can move the following. I move that we amend the motion to include an additional $500 for sound equipment. Now, the minute you raise your hand, get recognized and make this motion, it must be seconded. So the person presiding at the meeting will say, there's a motion to amend on the floor. Is there a second? Someone says, I seconded it. And now it gets fully debated. But what we're debating now is not what the main motion was, right? The $250. Now we're talking about, should we change it? to include an additional $500, right? So now we debate it, people like it, people don't like it, people question whether we have the money, right? Now, all of the debate is finished. If no one has anything else to say, it's gonna go to a vote. And if the majority of the members say yes, the motion passes, right? And then this is what automatically happens. That motion changes. And now it's moved to allocate $750 from our budget for DJ Jazzy Funk Master to perform at our fall event, right? So in other words, the $500 gets added, right? Because people agreed with your motion to amend and voted in favor of it. Now, what happens if it fails? What happens if people say, no, you don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong, right? What would, what would happen? Very simply, if the motion does pass, it goes back. And we begin debating on the $250 again until that goes to a vote. So at any moment, at any time, if there's a motion on the floor that you think needs to be fixed or improved, that it needs to be changed in a way that still reflects the spirit of the original motion, right? We're not changing the program here. We're just adding 500 bucks to make sure we can pay for it, right? or you want to add words or change words, and, and it's simple, you or anybody in the assembly can make a motion to, um, to, make, to make a change, right? Do you realize how empowered that makes your members? That everybody's involved and everybody can express what they think is best um, when a motion is on the floor and your group is about to make decisions. I hope that you found this enlightening about making amendments. I hope that you'll choose when appropriate to make amendments. And if you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to me at msmtrainsu at mac.com. That's the best way. That's my true email. And I'll be happy to dis discuss amendments or anything related to parliamentary procedure with you. I look forward to seeing you in our next installment when we discuss other ways to interact with motions that are on the floor. I hope that you'll join us for our next installment.